All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 Corpo Female V Netrunner. Welcome to part 72. All right, let's get the show on the road. And like again, my old game save. <laughs> it got stuck with that one glitch on uh, Clay It's Safe where Takamura doesn't call you back. So I had to roll back to a character or an old save where my character wasn't level 50 or before that glitch happened. So. I went back uh, 12 levels, it was a 38 character, now I'm at 40, and I lost about 40 hours of gameplay from that point, and where the, somewhere in between the glitch happened and <laughs> I got to like that final mission, <clears throat> or the last mission, because if you watch the old, old streams and the replay back on my YouTube channel, I did all the side quests, adventured around, every little thing. <laughs> uh, fun times, awesome. We had an unbelievable build, so I gotta see what skills I use up from 38 to 40. I'm saving them. So far we got three, three points, six perks. I got a reference build I have here to the one we're going for for the end. It's gonna be fun. So, where we left off, I believe we're about to start the I Fought the Law chain. And let's get to it. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. You, River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hunt. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. Hi, I'm streaming. So now be I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Your boss already told you to drop it. You can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, keep my advice as your friend. Not anymore. Just sitting here sipping coffee. Sipping gossip. Fine. Do what you want. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be over. Yeah, get on out of here. Talk. See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. You wanted to talk? For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. It's meant for to him. What was it? You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Let's go. Dick, <laughs> the river looks like he just got off the horse, man. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. He took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that? Because you got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? No. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. He got out. How's that happen? What's it mean? Someone let him loose. It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush?
Morales could just be scared. He doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. <laughs> who would? No one. As I see it, Morales is up to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? Dunno. But even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. They got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <laughs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where you can look for it. Uh, CI right now. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Let's go see your CI. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. Should we skip the ride there? Sorts of clients, Sandy's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everything. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. He's your CI. Doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well for him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. All right. Wait here then. Looking for a uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Looking for a club? Red Queen's race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Clouds in Japantown. Want an address? Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. Leave the fuck alone, all of you. Fuck. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Get him. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Rest assured, nobody will find out you talk to us. And this will truly be the last time Detective Ward will visit you. Isn't that right, Detective? Right. I swear it on the spirits of my ancestors. All we want is the courts for Red Queen's race. All right, but this is the last time, for real. It's outside city the limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. I got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck! Well, well, that's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Horvath's employer, 
one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. We're gonna take my car? Sure. Thanks. Bought the lamb, the flower. Let's go. And I forgot to set the do not disturb. Don't see the pop ups. Like I said, with my save, I had to go back. I don't even have the uh, upgraded armor I made I'm back in the old uh, corporal suit I had before. The other one had so much armor and <laughs> crit hit, crit damage, and all that good stuff. Skip the ride there. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. But you know that already. I'll say you're kinda natural. And the other 10%? What's it consist of? Badass. Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. It's a beautiful day, huh? You Christine Marco? No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tech over Christine on the Marco. other side. Thank you very much. I'll check if you somewhere, but I found a Christine Markov waiting for you. I'm already here. You Christine Markov? We have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Petar Horva. Worked here, apparently? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. When did the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Petar Weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. For the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath, Gonk's both, but completely different Gonk. Horvath make good scratch here? Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get the Eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scarf to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV flying a fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. These speeches. What did he have to say? Brian, if corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in Nepwak's job? 
probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what it came. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw, who else had it in for him? Everybody. Besides Ryan? A uh, madam president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's son. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my Cleon's hell. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. Neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. Guy whose head always hurt. An accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Mug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want to say. Fuck off, Kitty Claws. V. Fuck off! What the fuck?! God damn it, V. Told you I'd handle it. They had it coming. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Gotta beef with all gangs or just the tigers. I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. Okay, Red Queen's race now. First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there. He's actually writing the report. Look at his eyes. I think last time I did this, uh, I let him take care of it and we just hopped in the truck and went there. But fuck it. <clears throat> Let's go. but it feels like this thing has a huge turning radius. up
hit it where the car gets stuck, but we gotta wait. I hope he doesn't make me wait too long. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me. Ugh. <sighs> Is this the same place we got a box? You there, Ward? We gotta do a breach protocol. Fifty-five BD. Fifty-five with another fifty-five. Good to go. Go in here, sneaky, sneaky. I got some fun stuff laying about. Wasn't there a security console? Security is weak. Dude, there's ten security cameras in here. Not the same shit.
Anybody else in here? Looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Telling me, you got a hunch. Cop intuition? Something like that. the one where they had it in a security container and there's an elevator down to the club. Camera on the outside. Surveillance so camera way the fuck out there. You about to get skull fucked! Where'd the dude go? He was just there. Bingo. Look at that. Let's see when you again the elevator rivers. I'm a cry 
Spread that can danger. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. Find out what they're doing. I gotta do the talking? You're the detective. But I don't have a... A warrant, right. What? You don't need no stinking warrant. enough to move now Shoot, I need a seven eight nine one C. Watching this dump. Nothing left to clap here. We ain't watching it for fucking painting. For what? Till they send us to scratch for a job well done. Smashed it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit. Time for the payoff. I'll pay you. You get half of what you were promised. I get the intel I need. Half. For half, I can tell you how tall he is. But that's it. You sure? Half in your hand right now, real scratch, or the whole thing. Someday, maybe. But probably. Uh, all right, scratch now. Who told you to wreck the club, and why? Welding home. Lucius Ryan's right-hand bull terrier, candidate for mayor in the upcoming election. Right, fuck it for the job. Thanks for the help. I'll say, let me connect. Gotta look for the office next. Thank you. 
Oh, we got some free stuff. I think the office is not going to be upstairs. Or... Nope. This looks like the office. Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps are what we want. Oh, this is the beauty. He's going to fry me. Shock to the system. Thanks for leaving into action back there. No problem. You feel okay? Alive. What was that, V? You ask me. Wasn't a heart attack that killed Ryan. As I said from the start. But someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. I think you could be right. Come on, V. Welcome to the office. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V, I'm not in the mood for jokes. I think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. Okay, let's Delta. I think I saw another way out on the way in. Let's go! Yeah. Cheesy buffalo. This punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational, idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know the game NC makes you play. You know the rules. All the tricks in the book. So you ought to know when to get in line, and when you can stick your neck out. Because you stick it out at the wrong time, and there'll always be some shark ready to bite your head off. There's a line. Not every order's worthy of being followed. Let me tell you when I'll stop doing what I'm told. When 
I retire. Not a day sooner. Ought to consider doing the same, Ward. V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. It wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights, though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Say the word. Fuck. So, what now? Go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. The only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. About the llama. Why one? Let's go. Let's travel. That fog is really bright. Let's see. Luxury apartments. are kicking my ass today. Ooh, fancy. House. Just gonna tell you one thing. Probably gonna be more than one, but all right. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. I'm always careful. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. It was all murky in here. TV's broken. Please have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears.
It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But? Yeah, I got some idea. There was an accident, embarrassing one. Ryan died at a sex club. It's probably too much for him. Nobody there helping him to lead this world? Vacate his seat? You ask me? No. What a relief. Well, that's good to know. So why'd they lie? Ah, uh, never mind. Don't answer. I know why. Dull death, dull case. But my wife's right. We will sleep better. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other. Hey there. Now, where did we leave off? That's it. We reported in. Careful, please. Right. We'll return to this later. At the lobby. That's one piece of the puzzle. So let's check out the map, pick our next point for tomorrow. We'll bring this in to an end. All right, jobs, let's see, side job, side job. There's a play it safe. There's a search and destroy right next to us. Let's try and clear it out zone by zone. But hey. We'll go search destroy. We can go down this way. To head into this coast view, Pacifica. There's another main story one there. We got the other ones in the Outland, Badlands. Seriously, <laughs> all these quests, side missions, freaking assault in progress stuff, all that was 40 hours from <laughs> where the game glitched and messed up that one mission for play it's safe for me and my character and I got all that side quests all those missions done got up to level 50 right before that story story uh, the main story part for play it safe with uh, Takamura and continue uh, I wish it didn't glitched out because <laughs> I wanted to start playing Cyberpunk again after the Legendary Edition of Mass Effect. But I wanted to start out with another character, do the Nomad. I was I wanted to do like a kind of like a melee shotgun build, I was thinking. I never got to finish the Netrunner build. Or the story through that and <laughs> go to Takamura. Not Takamura. Go to Arasaka's Tower and just Contagion the whole building, bring him down to his knees. But with this save, yeah, we'll go finish that plan. So, 
do what you guys do best hit me up with a comment down below leave a like don't forget to share the video i really appreciate you do catching that replay back on my youtube channel you know what to do there hit that sub notification button for the daily content drop special thanks for you guys watching live on twitch don't forget to hit that follow button there as well catch me live every day once again thanks for watching see you in the next one and have an amazing day